Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I am very excited about today's video because it's about the newest spell leak that dropped right today, hot off the press. It is a new ballad spell, and this one is unlike any spell that we've ever seen before. I'm thinking about none other than the Tribunal Oni. This is a crazy, crazy spell, y'all. Now, this is a second now of the, an Oni spell that we've seen. The first one was a Doom Oni, and now we have a Tribunal Oni. I don't know what the these spells are but so far what they have in common is that there's seven pip spells and they have us like a like a times two condition now this is really crazy because this is a seven pip spell with a two times condition that means that it, it has 14 pips of damage value if you fulfill the condition just for half the pips and if you pip conserve it's even crazier and what i really like about this spell as you guys might have noticed is that the gambit or the condition for the double damage is that your opponent has two shads now, i think this is a really really big deal for for balance. I think a lot of people think that balance can only be played by mana burn spam and a, a spell that actually does this much damage is actually crazy. Just for comparison, right? Right now, the only really good 6 pip to 7 pip spell that you can do for damage, like right now, is I would say Obsidian Colossus, maybe Power Nova if you happen to if you happen to want to use it. And the reason spells like this are so important, right? These are uh, mid pip spells, if you're wondering, especially in PvP. The reason they're so important is that they optimize your enchant. What I mean by that, right, is that right now the only way to enchant a spell in PvP is by using Solar Surge. And how it works is it gets more and more powerful the more pips you have until you reach six pips. So on a one pip spell, it'll only add 50 damage. On a two pip spell, it'll add 100 damage. So you can see how a solar surge that you put on a like a two pip spell would be a gigantic waste compared to a solar surge that you put on a six pip or a seven pip spell like in the case of Tribunal Oni. Now one thing that I gotta note is that this spell already has a lot of synergy with balance and the reason being is because one it's an odd pip spell so you get a lot of that pip conserve coming out. Balance is very good at pip conserve strats and a spell that essentially does a mockenspiel's worth of damage when your opponent is sitting on shads. It is a really really good idea i think it will be really really good to have a conditional especially because i think balance right now always mana burns and even if you don't want a mana burn you feel forced into it now some things to note about this new tribunal oni and i've actually gotten clarification from bradbeard on this it doesn't remove two shads it doesn't do that i saw a lot of people on twitter saying oh this smells broken like as long as you're using your shads against a balance a balance can technically never use the spell it's but you can also make that shad a very bad move so like you know that's not that fair of an argument but this isn't another like story of oh you have two shads i'm gonna do your damage and you're also not gonna be able to shad like that's not what's happening here the other thing that i noticed a lot of people talking about is the two plus uh, uh symbol on this spell uh, again, another piece of clarification that I've gotten directly from the source. This does not mean that we're getting a third Shadow Pip slot in Lemuria. It just has two plus for consistency's sake, especially if there is, I guess, one day an update where we do have more than two Shads, especially if Shads aren't very, very high damage compared to our health, resist, all of that as they are now. So those are some, you know, rumors that I wanted to spell because I honestly think that the spell, it really does do so much damage that I don't think people should be like, it's OP. People should embrace it. This might actually replace Mana Burn as the primary source of output of damage. If every school gets one of these, then you're seeing one, a direct counter to Mana Burn because it's actually pretty easy to get to seven pips. It's not the worst, right? All you have to do is shield and blade a lot, weakness maybe just to gain pips. And Mana Burn spamming is not going to do anything if you have a times two seven Seven pip spells staring at you. You know, th th there is a good argument for why these spells not only are gonna make mana burn less effective on a balance, but also makes mana burn less effective against other schools. In this video, I also wanted to cover two other balance utilities because it really seems like they're making balance different this update. These were also leaked on Rapid Stream, just like uh, the Tribunal Oni, just like some of the Scions that we've seen, just like a lot of the utilities that we've seen. But th these are crazy. They're different. They're ju just like Tribunal Oni. They're, they bring something to balance that we genuinely have never seen before. The first of these spells is called Eye of Vigilance. Now, this one's really, really cool. What it does, it, it, it converts your enemy's blades into pips that they can have, and it converts weaknesses on you to pips that you can have. It literally does both at the same time. So, let's say you get the best use out of this. It's actually still not... I'm not really sure who wins that, because you both end up with three pips. 
you both end up with, I mean, you end up with less weaknesses, they end up with less blades, so I guess you do win that. But pip-wise, nobody wins that, you know, man? Like, you're using three pips just to gain three pips, but now you're also giving your opponent three pips. I don't know if I explained that right, but th this pip giving utility to get rid of, uh, like, blades and weaknesses, that is a really, really big deal. That is not the only pip giving utility that we have. There's also the spell called writing the scales, but instead of blades on your opponent and weaknesses on yourself, this time it's traps on yourself and shields on your opponent. So it can convert up to three shields on your opponent into pips that they have, and it can convert up to three traps on you to pips that you can have. Just to give you context, if someone's just trapping into the trap on you, and you use the spell, you just literally gain three pips for all the traps that they use, especially if they don't have shields when you do it, because they're not getting pips out of it. You guys are starting to see, hopefully, that there's a lot of strategy in terms of how you gain pips, how you give your opponent pips, and also how your opponent uses their shadow pips with these new spells. I really do like that direction, because right now, the only real relationship to pips I think you have when you go against a balance is that you don't want to have too high of pips because of mana burn but if these pip giving and pip uh, if these pip gaining utilities for balance really gain a lot of traction or if they become necessary to keep up with the damage of other schools then you'll start seeing you know like you'll actually start seeing balance give pip i think the one thing that i'm very very concerned about i love the creativity of the tribunal oni i really do like the idea of the fact that now we have a, a shield counter a trap counter but i still think balance's biggest problem is definitely still going to be mana burn are there going to be people that can just say, oh, there's 28 new spells all over the place? Oh, well, who cares about the 28 new spells all over the place? I'm just going to use this one spell over and over again. Now, obviously, giving your opponent pips to mana burn actually does make a little bit of sense. And we also saw a balance ion that does double damage when your opponent has high pips. But I do think given the dominance of mana burn right now, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to see if it'll be replaced because there is no other option but to replace it. Or if people will just default on it instead of actually trying out any of these new spells. All I know is that this is one of Balance's biggest buffs in a really, really long time. Just off of the fact that it's getting a mid-pip hit that's conditional. Like, we don't have that. The, in fact, we're getting not just that, but also Sign of Balance that's usable. We're getting a lot of damage that's actually balanced that we have not seen yet so if someone really does feel like they still need to mana burn something's a problem either the elder schools are way more powerful or this spell is just too good right if mana burn is still the only viable strat i i don't know something's something's wrong there i want to end off the video by saying this is still one of the most incomplete pictures we could possibly imagine having of all of these spells before test realm we did see however uh, a doom oni that literally does damage based off of shields and an Oni spell for death that literally gives you shields. So who knows, man? Who knows what's gonna happen? Honestly, since the Sign of Balance came out, which literally, it, it does double damage for 11 pips, we've seen utilities give pips. Will there be something with Shads and Balance in relation to th this new spell, the Tribute Oni? We don't know yet. As soon as I get more information on that, there will be another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of the new spells. I just want to explain what it did, dispel some rumors here and there, and also talk about what this might mean for balance and its matchup with other schools let me know what do you what do you guys think about these new spells especially if you're a balance wizard or if you uh, maybe you hate going against balance love going against balance how do you think this affects them let me know in the comments i want to read all of y'all's opinions as always if somebody has not told you awesome today they doing something wrong drop a like drop a sub and stay awesome bro and yeah yo